it's unique. Uh, most of the industry is always touch. Um, the responsiveness, once you understand how to place your hand, is pretty quick on the unit. It eliminates the, the anti-passback problems. Um, missing people handing off key fobs or key codes to each other, where the person is the actual token or the key, where you, know, you can't change somebody's face, someone's iris, where you can't pass, you know, pass on to somebody else. So I think it'll be very secure, especially for higher uh, level, uh, like database vaults and things like that. I've not been uh, exposed to this type of uh, technology in recent years. So to me, uh, I'm absorbing as much as I can. So, so what I can tell so far, I can see how flexible and how easy it could be. So knowing the, our industry, knowing what, what I know, I have 30 years experience in the CCTV side, the user friendliness is key. That's going to be a key element. Um, I see that the technology, what you guys offer, and the quality and what it seems to be a very sophisticated product, I think those combinations are going to be very successful. We've done some biometric projects, um, limited scale as far as number of quantities, but one of the complaints we have been had is the speed of things and, um, and that type of environment. So I was impressed about when you get an actual read, the quick response to it with the fingerprints, with the uh, um, facial and all that, so that was pretty impressive. So. Well, obviously, you know, from a biometric standpoint to a card format, you know, that would be the biggest difference. You know, biometrics are more secure and then traditional cards and the hospitals, a lot of hospitals are still using max rec because card cost is low. Um, you know, school environments, you know, they usually tend to go with a traditional 125 kilohertz prox card. You know, so this opens up an avenue that goes beyond a card, whether the technology is Mag Stripe, you know, smart car or proximity. The uh, goal of being able to have one second responsiveness is great and people will really appreciate the fact that it's quick and easy to get right through it. People will be very comfortable with the fact that they don't have to touch it, they don't have to, you know, physically be a part of it and so forth. I think people will really like that. Um, well, the design is very nice and I think obviously, again, having all four of the features that you, you, know, you need to meet to get through or two or three of them will be great because that'll be you know, not just one and, and uh, mistakes won't happen. But also the, the design of it's very nice and I think it will be pleasing to the eye as well. Certainly biometrics is the hottest topic going on in the industry. We get asked about it every day and I certainly think this product here, again, having all four and having the options to do it will be something that pe people will find very interesting. The first thing that caught my attention was that it takes more than one criteria to identify. and I, That's unusual to me. And I like the speed. Obviously that's very important. Uh, the enrollment went very quickly and then the speed of recognition was where it should be. Very good. Well, one of the biggest things that I've encountered is the apprehension of any biometric failing. And what I like to call suspenders and a belt, that's what you've incorporated in this product. If it doesn't see your fingers, it'll look at your face. If it doesn't see your face, it'll see your, your eyes. Some way or another, it's going to recognize you and you'll have entry. A big benefit. Uh, one of the other obstacles that I have faced is hygienics. Um, in the environment that people were there worried about, somebody else had a cold, somebody else sneezed, all those things, or grease some other environmental uh, items that are going to deteriorate the recognition. Obviously it eliminates all of that. In general it's going to be number one accepted because of all the things we just talked about, the criteria of multiple recognition. Uh, and that's, everybody on a campus is worried about security nowadays. There's all kinds of things going on that we don't want going on. People that are gaining entry that shouldn't gain entry. And I think this is going to be accepted because of the worst things.